All right, here's how you uh, check to make sure that your grade book is working. We hope that this uh, will stop any errors. Um, so far, it has worked for most classes, but at the same time, not all classes are getting fixed, but this is the first step to take in order to try to fix it. So um, with all your classes, you want to go through and make sure that your grades are set up properly in the grading activity module. So go down to in, within a class, go into a class and go into the grades, like so. Once you're in your uh, grades, scroll down to this administration panel. You'll see grade administration. And you're going to come down to setup. Go ahead and click once on setup. And you have these options here. We're going to first start in the categories and items. So you want to make sure that under standards that down here it shows that it's set to 80% and on daily assignments that it's set for 20% and then the course, co course total is 100. First thing you want to do is check to make sure that the main uh, class uh, grade is set properly. So go down over to actions, click on edit and then edit settings. In here, it should show weighted mean of grades. Everything else should look pretty much the same as this. Category total, your max grade should be 100, and your minimum grade should be 0. Use no scale should be set, and grade type should be value. Make sure that your grade book matches up to this under category total. Oops. Once you know that everything's working and everything looks good, you have to save changes if you've made any changes. If everything looked good and you don't need to change anything, you can still hit save changes or just hit cancel to get out of this window. Next, under course grade settings, go ahead and click on that. And in here, you're going to want to make sure these should be set all to default settings so we want to just go through and make sure that they are set correctly. So the main one that has problems is when users, when students, go to their grades and they're not able to see any type of grade. So you want to go to the user report overview. We're going to scroll down. Actually, let's start up here real quick. Aggregation, default, uh, grade display type should be the default percentage and letter. On here, on the overview report, you want to make sure where it says height totals if they contain hidden items. Default should say show totals excluding hidden items. Make sure that it's set there. It should be because that's the default setting, but we just, uh, we just don't know, so we have to double check all these things. Next, down onto the user report, this is what students are seeing. And again, you want to make sure that height totals if they can contain hidden items Make sure that it shows totals excluding hitting items. So this, these are the settings that are, that are stopping students from being able to see their grades. Now, if you haven't hidden any items, they might still be seeing their grades. But as soon as you hide an assignment that, say, it's a future assignment that you have posted, but you don't want the students to be able to see it yet or something of that sort, um, if there's anything that has an eyeball turned off, it is going to not show them any grade at all, no totals at all. So you want to make sure that it shows totals excluding the hidden items. All right, so again, on the overview report, high totals they can cite, default show totals excluding hidden items. Those are the two that should be set. Also, your grade type should be set to default percentage with a letter grade. That would be like a 95, and a letter grade would be an A. All right, save changes, make sure that everything is correct. And for letters, if you haven't set up your letters, just in case, your letters should go as shown. Um, a, A minus, B 
B plus, B, B minus, C plus, C, C minus. Uh, you could get rid of the minuses and the pluses if you want and just round them off. So it would be 100 to 90 is an AA. I have these broken down a little bit more. But the main thing is that when you get down to 70, 70 is a C, 69.99 to 0 is an NP. So just make sure that your letter grades are set up like so. If they are not, then click on Edit Grades, and you'll be able to go in and determine what the value of those should be. So at NP, it should be below your last setting, which would be a C. A C would be anything up to a 70, and then NP would be, would be anything smaller than a 70, and all the way down to a zero. Once you've uh, set up your grades, go ahead and click Save Changes. I'm just going to hit Cancel because I did made no changes. And as of right now, those should be the only changes that you need to make to a gradebook to take the first steps in making sure everything is working properly. If you have any more uh, problems um, specifically to any other uh, situations, then please let me know. Thanks.